contacted by a website called banggood.com and they wanted to feature a review and so I actually got two items so today I'm gonna do um, a video on an eyeshadow palette that I received now when I first saw it on their website you know I was definitely immediately thought of Jeffree Star because of the color and it was star shaped eyeshadows and uh, I definitely wanted to give a shot the colors look like Jeffree Star everything looked like Jeffree Star but it didn't say anything about Jeffree Star so I went ahead and got it and so it definitely looks like Banggood also has things like AliExpress uh, because it, it turns out it's actually a replica palette so um, it comes in this little cardboard box and I did open this just to make sure that none of the shadows were broken in shipping but I have not played with this at all so um, on the back it I mean this looks legit it's got the tin draw dropping shades vegan cruelty free all that other stuff on there um, I mean it's even got the company's logos and websites and stuff like that uh, so I did open this like I said to make sure they weren't broken and I will say that these are really hard to get out of this box like I fought with it for probably 20 minutes the first time um, you literally have to open both ends and push it out or like shake it until it comes out so this is what the inside of the palette looks like and I'm actually gonna set up another light before I continue all right so I've got another light set up here so that we can definitely make sure that you get the right colors here because it was a little dark so <laughs> I wanted to make sure so I've got some brushes that we're going to use to test these so I only have two brushes though I haven't even used these these are some um, like it's Urban Decay style brushes so I just figured those would work so here is the inside of the palette and then of course you've got the mirror up top and the mirror does look legit like it's even got the logo here um, I will say that there's a lot of like creasing going on here like it there's it's a mess you see that um, and then there's shadow all all over the mirror too so we're gonna move that so that you're not gonna be you know blinded or staring at me <laughs> so um palette is a little bit messy like you see there's there's stuff all over the gold um, but overall there was no damage to the eyeshadows I'm very excited for this you know I kind of wanted his palette but at the same time I didn't we're gonna go with the pink first here I don't have any primer on my hand I'm shaking the camera a bit there. Okay, so we're not really, it's just kind of moving across my hand here. You see that? I mean, it's, it's staying in the brush, but it's not, it's not doing anything to me. All right, we're gonna change plans here. All 
I'm, I'm not getting I'm not getting anything here all right I'm gonna move over to expensive okay I actually did get something off of expensive here let's I don't have one of those color switch yet I have one on the way but uh, I'm just gonna do it on my pant leg so that one actually did give some color with the brush it's not a lot it definitely brings the shimmer out if you see that it's a lot shimmery when done with the brush versus done with my finger but star power just it's not giving me any love here I'm just not getting anything off of it it just feels like I'm getting like a little bit of dust down here but it's not actually sticking to me so it seems like the pink which I was really excited for is gonna be a dud So, we're going to go on to Princess. That one's not bad. I need to find a way to mount this somewhere other than my table because it just keeps shaking. Alright, so that one, you can kind of see it. Let's see if it does better with the brush like Expensive did. Alright, so again, it seems to make it shine more. It's very strange. I don't think I've ever had this kind of experience with eyeshadow before. Alright, we're going to try Confession here. We're going to swipe once. That one actually is really good. Let's swipe on me. Alright, so that one's definitely got some pigmentation behind it there. So we're going to try it with the eyeshadow brush. And... You can see that that... That actually looks pretty nice. And it looks like both have about the same amount of shimmer there. Both swatches, no problems. Alright, so now we're going to move on to Violence. It's definitely got some pigmentation going on there. Alright. Alright, so... It actually did better with the brush than it did finger swatch on that one. So this palette is definitely different than a lot of palettes. So now we're going to go with Vanity, which is this brown um, coffee-like color. So I'm trying not to make the table shake so that didn't that didn't let's try that again so I'm not shaking the table <laughs> that didn't it's right there um, I'm not getting anything off of that one so we're gonna try using the brush all 
All right, so that's another dud. I mean, you can see it a bit, a bit more, but that's, it's not much. All right, so we've got two duds out of 10 so far. And we still have four shades left to go. So um, I'm really hoping Black Rainbow works really well. I'm going to say that now. And I want Rich Bitch to work the other two. I have others, so I don't really care too much. But I really want those two to work. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over to this new brush. And uh, we're going to dip into Rich Bitch. Alright, so I've dipped into that. I'm also going to swirl my finger in it. We're going to swatch one. Alright, so that worked out pretty well. Not so good with the brush, but it definitely does have some color to it. So it's not a complete loss. So now we are going to move on to China White. Probably not going to show up on me. Yeah, no. This is like skin tone for me. <laughs> Alright, so I dusted quite a bit there, so we're gonna Okay, so you can definitely see some pigmentation going on there. Like I said, this is like skin tone for me, so you can't really see it that great, but I do see the color. Especially when cleaning the brush off, I very, very, very well see this color. <sighs> Alright, so Courtney is next. Alright, so we've got plenty on that brush there. So we're going to swipe. Okay, so look at all that going off of it, but it's not, it's not going on me. Let's try with a finger swatch. Yeah, not much. So, so far the best ones have been expensive. Um, Princess is kind of a eh. Confession, or I'm sorry, violence. Confession didn't sh or did show up pretty well. Vanity was a dud. Star power, which I'm totally sad about, was a dud. I can't get anything off of it. Um, this one is eh. So is rich bitch. I mean, it's definitely got some color to it. It's not the most pigmented, but it's not terrible. Um, Courtney, I, I just can't get it to, I mean, you can see it right there. And I'm super pale. So, we're going to try the last one here. And it is Black Rainbow. So, we're going to move here on my arm. So, that looks like a good, right, that's not terrible. I mean, it's not the, uh, oh my god, in your face black. Once again, though, I'm not using any kind of primer, so that could be playing into that. So we're going to hit this brush. 
It looks really nice on the brush. Let's go ahead and Okay, so I will say this is one of those palettes that swatches better with a brush than with fingers. Usually finger swatches can be um, a little misleading because they a lot of times look more pigmented because you're getting more product picked up, but these are actually applied better with the brush. Now, like I said, I'm super sad that Star Power doesn't seem to be providing any any color so I'm gonna try maybe roughing this up okay so after roughing it up you can see that I I did rough it up pretty well I'm finally getting something off of that so let's try it now It's a bit patchy. Sorry for the arm hair there. I'm kind of out of hand space. But um, now that I've roughed this up, let's see if it works better with the brush now. I'm just going to squeeze this in here. Alright, so nothing with that end. I mean, you can see something going on there with this one. Alright. Still just not enough pigment for my liking. From looking at this, you would think this would be very bright. And then you see this and this and it's pretty sad. I don't know. I would say I'm still going to use it. I'm still going to use it. I do enjoy expensive confession, violence, and rich bitch. And even black rainbow is good. So it's good enough that I'll use this still. Something that you really, really want. I would spring for the real one. But... You know that's what happens but it's really cute if you just wanted this just for display purposes because it's super adorable um, I mean it's just it is cute it is very cute so if you want it just for a part of your collection not even to use I would get it because you could pay a whole lot less and still get the same cute packaging but quality wise, it's kind of a toss up. It's a it's a half, half and half. So I would say splurge for the real one if you really want to use the eyeshadow. But overall, it's not terrible. I've I've had way worse makeup for a lot more. Um and it's okay. But Thanks so much for watching this video. Please be sure to check out all my other makeup reviews. I'm constantly reviewing, um, you know, real makeup and things like this that you find that are, are the replica makeup. I do kind of a comparison of each and I'm constantly putting out new videos. I try to do about three a week. So thanks so much for watching if you're a longtime subscriber. And I can't wait till we hit 2000 and uh, at that point we'll look at doing a giveaway. So thanks for watching. I will see you all later. Well, it's a shame I'm a dream.